Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Michelle with Birdie Bloom and I'm doing a bag opening video today, tonight. Um, tired. I'm obviously not looking appropriate to be doing a video, but I received today one of, um, not one of, I mean, the, literally the most expensive bag I've ever purchased. Most expensive vintage, well, not the most expensive bag I've ever purchased. I guess I should clarify that. Um, but the most expensive vintage coach bag I've ever purchased. It's rare. Um, it is special. I hope it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Uh, the opportunity came up to buy it and I just, and it's not a bag I ever thought I would get my hands on. So I wouldn't have called it a unicorn, but the opportunity came. So I took it. Um, so we're going to open, you're going to get my real reaction and I guess what I feel about this bag that I spent almost a thousand dollars on. That's how much I spent. Oh, it's a very old bag. So let's get to it. I haven't even cut the tape. This bag, um, it came from Poshmark headquarters. So I purchased it on Poshmark. Um, if you're not used to buying on Poshmark, if you spend, if an item costs over $500, it gets sent to Poshmark headquarters for authentication great and all, but honestly, guys, I was really worried they were going to try to say this wasn't authentic when I knew it was. Um, they did not. I mean, everything worked out well, but I was scared <laughs> because even though I spent a lot of money on this bag, I do think the value of it is a little bit more, and there were plenty of people. I had to buy it quickly. There were plenty of people who would have spent uh, that, the money on this bag, so... Oh, well, before I open it, how about I show you a very old advertisement, coach advertisement, and I'm going to tell you what's in this box, or it should be in this box. And what you see here is a 9355. Yes, it had a style number, and they called it a, well, they describe it as a chunky haversack, but it's called a haversack. Um, and as you can see, this uh, advertisement's from uh, early 70s, early to mid 70s, and it only cost $75 then at uh, was being sold at Saks Fifth Avenue. So I don't know how long this bag was made for. As I mentioned, it's pretty rare. You don't see them often. There is one currently, as I'm doing this video, it's been listed for at least a year. But there is one currently for sale that's black on eBay, listed for $3,500. No one's bought in it, obviously. It's also kind of hard to find, so I don't know why that is. But if you were to search eBay for Vintage Coach Haversack and then change your, um, your like list and how they display things to like highest cost, It'll pop up then, but otherwise it's not gonna pop up. So okay. Oh, I'm excited. Oh. Hmm. They included one of those real real bags. <laughs> I wonder what Poshmark thought about that. <laughs> That's ironic. And they saw uh, that they shipped it in a real, real bag, the seller. Um, just going to put my hands in here and feel it. Feels pretty good. Oh my gosh. And here the bag is. Oh, my lighting is not good right now. Wow, it feels really good. All right, give me a minute. I am just gonna look through here. Look at this bag and then I will show her to you.
Wow, okay. <laughs> I like it for sure. I'm excited to try it on. It feels really good. It does not appear to have been, you know, coated in shoe polish, which is sadly something I'm seeing so often now. Definitely not painted. Um, it's really soft. I was kind of worried that it was gonna potentially, um, even though the person I got it from was a collector, so that's very promising. Um, but I've gotten bags from collectors before who just didn't realize what they had and how maybe how they were letting it sit where it was or I don't know, maybe they didn't realize there was stuff on the bag. And anyways, they just come and they're, they're not in the best shape. I have quite a few actually that I need to do something about some other rare bags, but this one is in really great shape. It's just, it's really um soft and pliable i'm excited to really show you the shape so give me a minute i'm gonna stuff it be right back okay so i'm back with her stuffed and i'm just gonna show you some pictures and as you can see see there's these two buckles we're gonna go over that or play with it because honestly I don't know she does not have a back pocket she has these two pockets on the side little turn locks nothing crazy but definitely a little area for organization and underneath her huge flap she's got I chose to stuff this. There's this front pocket. It's flat. It's not gusseted. And then just this large cavity with a, the zipper pocket in the back. And here, um, this is what this bag has on it. It's this, um, I say car touch, coach car touch, but uh, somebody said it's cartouche. Um, I'm, saying it wrong, obviously. So cartouche, the coach cartouche is on this particular bag. That's all it has. Um, and then it does come with, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to really show this to you guys. I'm not gonna even have something on my shirt. Um, can you see how Hmm. Here, I'll show you a picture. Um, do you see how the balls on the ball chain are faceted? Which means instead of being round, just little round balls, these balls actually have little flat sides. And that, along with the little square top, coach um, hang tag you know obviously the raw backing leather wear on the front that's just an older um, little hang tag so this appears to all be original to this haversack which is great I've said before brown dark brown is not really my favorite color but I'm not gonna be picky when it comes to something like this this is just fabulous I, oh my gosh, I adore it. Okay, so let's get to the strap. First of all, do you see how these straps are just, it's part of the side wall. And if you know, the sling, that little black sling that I have, it's one of my favorite bags. I've done a video on it. Um, I love because the, the bag, the strap is like a part of the bag. Uh, a lot of the, a lot of bags do that actually, like the Ergos, but um, I, I love that and I love that about this bag. But okay, so we have the strap. There's no rivets in it, but there are holes. Um, let's, I'm gonna put her on. Well, I guess, did we already have her on? Oh, bottom, I didn't even show you the bottom. There are little feet on the bottom. It's kind of lined, extra lined. It's not hard, it's, uh, it looks like there's a, another piece of leather that goes along the bottom, so it makes it a little bit more sturdy. But there are little feet. So that is on its 
longest length there. I guess I'll just shorten it here. That makes it a shoulder carry. Um, so what happens, doing this as we speak, this strap would go on the inside. <laughs> and this can really be shortened. Let's see how it looks kind of longer. I don't, yeah, that's too short for. But this is, it's like a little hand, a big handbag. Look, I'm showing you my feet. I am really natural stuff. I actually normally have some like decent shoes on. <laughs> oh gosh, I was not prepared for this video. <laughs> And uh, you never get to even see my feet. And here I am just walking around in socks. So that's, yep, yeah. okay. <laughs> hmm. The colors actually go pretty decent. I mean, not my hat, but the colors go pretty decent with this dark mahogany bag. Or mocha, sorry, it's not mahogany. It was mocha in the 70s, so. Um. Oh my gosh, yes. I will definitely be using this bag. Oh, I'm excited. Oh gosh, this is great. Let's do a little bit more of a sh uh, sh uh, strap shortening. But that's what's so cute about this haversack is that like, I don't know, I wouldn't, I, would you call it a multifunctional strap? Just how it can, it just does some funky things. Right, I guess that's probably too much. That's probably not what that was intended for. Okay, hold on. I'm figuring it out, like I said. Let's do, let's shorten it with the other one. Let's see what happens. So cute, oh my gosh. All right, so was it worth the 900 plus price tag? I would say so. Um, this is a rare bag. I, uh, one that had, oh, look at that. And then I can put it, yeah. Sorry, this is a rare bag though. Um, and it has sold within that price range in the past in another color that I can see. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure this out. Almost would like to have, Maybe that was it. Oh, that's it. That's how it goes. Okay. That's a little handle carry the shoulder or little hand carry there. <laughs> oh my gosh. So cute. But yeah, no, it was definitely worth it. I'm really excited to have this in my collection. Um, I actually have some other pretty rare items I haven't shown you. I wasn't really videoing bag openings at the time. Um, so I guess I don't really do it often now, but wow, Haversack, super excited. Uh, again, there is a style number for this bag. It's a 9355. Where I got that, um, I'll show it to you again, this advertisement, this coach advertisement, there's actually, uh, I'm not super active on Instagram, but there is a Instagrammer, I, her name is Vintage Coachy, and she shares this collection of advertisements. I don't know if she's found them, I need to probably research that a little bit more. Um, or if she, she's gathered them from somewhere else, but they're, it's just excellently, it's a really great organization. These catalog, they're, it's not just like coach catalogs, it's advertisements for um, coach from different eras um, in newspapers and magazines and for department stores. She has this 
really big collection and I have and so have other people been able to find super rare bags that we didn't think existed in like advertisement form until finding her um, Flickr account which she shares with people so check her out she has amazing bags too a vintage coachy on instagram i'm not really big on instagram um just because it's another thing to follow but oh my gosh people post some really cool things on there so i do intend to post some um, more pictures of this eventually um on uh my facebook in my facebook group called Vintage Coach Eye Candy. I'm so sorry guys, I'm so tired. Vintage Coach Eye Candy. Uh, so, but yeah, uh, come you know, join that group to check out photos of things like this and the photos that other people post um, in that group that keeps it alive. So it's all about eye candy. So yeah, come join us. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel for more Vintage Coach Bag Talks. Uh, what do you think? You think, would you spend that kind of money on a bag like this? A little rare bag like this? Or is it just not your cup of tea? Let me know in the comments below. Bye-bye.